Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Cybergamma Astro Circuit midweek number three for season five. Brought to you by Cybergamma, powered by Astro. We've got the grand final between Team Storm and Team TBA, formerly known as obviously Immunity, and should definitely be a very, very good matchup here. It will be a best of five, so three nominations, two blitzes, and we're starting off here on domination on Sovereign. We have for the TBA side, of course, Woods playing in a place of shocks. And of course, on the opposing team, Team Storm, you have, we've seen them play already, Varenzen, Swifty, Fate, and Luke. Now, Team Storm, they've been extremely strong on these respawn game types. Of course, no S&D being here due to the S&D bomb glitch. But, I mean, it's, it still could go either way. It's, it's starting off a best of five series for the first time tonight. And uh, who do you want to jump board with? Well, I'm on board with Storm at the moment. Swifty is trying to push in onto B. He'll get shut down, though. Wood's playing it well on that B flag site. But Varenzon trying to come in. He'll pick up one there on Naked. We'll get taken down, though, as both teams still trying to fight over this B control. Neither team able to get it at the moment. Storm look like they're going to be able to get this one as they do get the first capture of the game for B. And they'll start to build that points difference that they need. Yeah, of course, Fate now just rotating around. They do have that two-flag control. And the team of TBA, you know, they're trying to pick off a couple of kills there. They managed to take down three players. Unfortunately, they haven't been able to use that to push on forward over to this B-flag. You can see buzzing over on the top mid building there. A couple of players trying to contest him, as you can see, by the stuns. And, you know, Oracle mode now being turned on for you all. The players are actually contesting heavily over on, on, the, on the top mid building. And unfortunately, Ooh. it didn't go in favor of, of TBA because they did get taken down three of their players. Yeah, that was a four down there. And Storm able to just clean up around B and able to uh, control the map quite nicely. Swifty just sitting over this left side. There's a player there. He hasn't poked for quite a while. He gets that shot there. Buzzo, just beautiful shots onto that one as Fate gets taken down. That was a three down momentarily. Luca trying to just uh, get some shots on here on the Team TBA's caution side of the map. They're currently losing C though and it looks like Fighter, he's going to be able to get that one. He'll get taken down but that split cap from Team TBA could prove pivotal. Yeah, and I mean, you are going to be seeing them rotate over onto this A flag right now. Buzzin is on that one. They're also onto that B flag as well. Buzzin's uncontested over on A, so we'll swap over to the B flag that has been neutralized. Fighter on your screens at the moment, trying to contest over onto B. Gets wide. He's looking for the second. He gets that as well. And you're going to be seeing him get that B flag single-handedly. Yeah, Fighter doing a good job there. Going for the long shots. We'll get a shot by Varenz on long vector battle there. Both players... Just uh, getting beautiful shots on Fighter. Unfortunately, getting taken down too quickly there as Woods will go down. Buzzo, he's currently on a six streak. Picks up a nice little kill there. Trying to find another one. He won't be able to. Woods just pushing through. He's just going to try and find his way through Snake. There's a player above him. He's about to get dropped on. Is he going to see him? No, he isn't. And a bit of timing there for you all as he's going to try and defend this B flag here as he's trying to push in. Does see one. He's going to jump on top of Ness. Sees one down on the B flag. We'll pick that one up. Jump down. Try and get this capture as it is neutralized at the moment. Putting some shots out with that MTAR. Gets the capture. And 49 to 50. One point in it. Make that 51 all. And both teams doing a great job in this game of just keeping it close and trying to get in the lead. As you are going to be seeing... Right now, we'll swap on over to Luke's perspective, pushing on down over, of course, over to the C side of, sorry, the A side of the map. He does fall, unfortunately. Fate is going to be on top mid. He's going to see one, but no one will contest him straight through the back. Current scroll line, 61 points to 56 in favor of the TBA team. And uh, Swifty will take down one. So we'll swap on over to him, but no, he's going to die as well. Yeah, I, was, I jumped on board with the TBA squad because Buzzo, he's going 17-8 and eight with a Vector. Usually you see him go with AI, AR, but the Vector is just so good at long range that he can uh, use that just as effectively as any other gun in his arsenal as he uh, is showing right now on board with Woods. He's currently just trying to defend this B flag. He's going 13-11. He's got two caps to his name, trying to find a couple of players long range, but his teammates just cleaning up at the moment. Fighter going on a five streak he's was 12 and 9 before he just gets taken down and 14 seconds left in the half 79 to 65 
And it just looks like Team TBA, they've been able to uh, break out a bit of a lead after it was very, very close for the first three minutes. Yeah, and I mean, that's going to be the end of the first half. At the end of that, 85 points to 68 is the scoreline. And of course, it is 17 points the difference, but you can't rule out the Team Storm side because so far, this is, I think, the first domination that we've seen them play throughout the night and possibly even that we haven't seen. You can just likely guarantee that they actually haven't had the lead at the end of the half. Yeah, that's, that's right. And we'll just uh, jump on board with Team TBA. They're the team in front. We'll see what... Buzzo is going to do because he is the team player leading his team at the moment. He's going to try and push straight onto B, throwing that long stun, getting some tags. So he's going to go straight through for these kills. He does see one, sees a second, gets both of them. He's going to push onto B. It is neutralized at the moment, obviously, still from the start, no one being able to capture it. But it looks like TBA, they're going to get the early lead here in the second half after already being up from that first. As you are going to be seeing right here, the, the, the TBA side controlling C and A, but they, they might be uh, the C flag in a moment. We'll show up a bit of that player that is going to be Luke, and you are going to be seeing him actually getting taken down, but that uh, C flag has been neutralized. As you see, the B flag still trying to, trying to be contested. I, I suppose there is one player relatively near it, but uh, Luke now trying to be pushing on over into server. One player will be there to contest it. That will be Woods, who does take him down. Buzzin just chilling over on B. You're going to be seeing Woods now going to join him. As you're going to be seeing them actually wanting to push on down a little bit more aggressively over onto Zig in that A side of the map to just try and put pressure on Storm and, and keep them back, which is exactly what they need to do. Because that's what Storm does to, to dominate everyone else. Yeah, well, there was a three down there, and uh, TBA, they just, as you said, putting so much pressure on the spawns of Storm that it's just difficult for them to make any plays happen because they've just got to pick up the kills and they're not allowing them to. As another three down goes down for Enzon, he's trying to push up, but he'll, he'll pick up that kill on Woods, trying to find a second, but he can't do anything to Woods B because his teammates are all back in spawn and he, they cannot assist him now. It's Fate's turn. He's going to jump on board onto B. He's got the neutralizer already. Tries to contest there. Will get taken down. But they got the neutralizer there, which is important. And now they can start to push out. But still, Team TBA just cleaning up in kills. Buzzo 24 and 13. Woods with 17, 14. And they're 20 and 13 for Fighter as well. Yeah, and we're actually speaking of Fighter. We'll stick on board with him as he goes underground to try and. You know, I'm actually going to swap over to the action over a bit. I think that would be the wiser, wiser decision, as I said, that the, the TBA players do drop. But we have Naked over on top mid to try and contest that one. Of course, we'll get one shot out, but he will get shot out from three different angles, shutting him down completely here at that one. And, of course, keeping in mind that being a best of five, teams have a little bit less pressure to take out the first map because they can still come back with map two and then a guaranteed map three at the end. It doesn't just end with two maps and you're out. But, uh... I mean, 135, 297, 2 minutes 20 on the clock here to wrap up this map. And at this stage, it's looking like a TBA map. Yeah, it does. And they are, uh, as you said, 40 points in the lead. 2 minutes 10 left to go. Buzzo is going to jump on to this B flag. All, all three fans here. As Storm are able to pick up A and C, they're going to lose A now. As I believe that is Naked currently sitting on that one. And is Buzzo just controlling this B area as he has picked up a couple of kills. Storm trying to push him as we see on Oracle mode. But Wood shutting that down. Naked shutting it down. And it just looks like TBA. They're in control of the map. And look to be in control of this domination as a whole. That being said, Fate just went huge there with a couple of kills. Going to get shot in the back unfortunately as I say that. But you know he was trying to make a play over to another flag over on the, the side of the map. But now TBA, they're working on this triple cap. Buzzin's going to be looking straight into the right angle that he needed to, and that's going to be a triple cap for them. Now, those players did get taken down, but it's just a, another couple of seconds that Team Storm needed to cap the flag that they weren't getting any points itself. It is going to be uh, 111 points to 160, 50, you know, over 50 points there. There will, it will now 50 points exactly the, the difference between these two teams. And with one minute remaining, you just got to think it's going to go to TBA. Uh, you cannot get that possible. And uh, you got to pick it up and fight it. Just go. He'll get the turn. Is he going to. So we're just not there fighting. 
Unfortunately, there is a fair bit of lag issues there for Lockdog, and we'll see if we can get that resolved. But in the meantime, we'll stick on board with Woods for the end of this map, and uh, we'll, we will be seeing him here over on the C flag to try and secure that one down. Let's see if they'll be able to get another shot in. He will, and he will take down Varenza. 20 seconds remaining, though, and we'll jump on board with Luke as he secures this B flag, trying to get a shot over on Yellow. He will take him down, and you'll see 182. Well, 183 to 120, of course. Flags still swapping hands, but no chance in any way possible that the team of Storm will be able to take that one down. That's going to be a 1-0 scoreline so far to the team of TBA, who now lead 1-0 to zero here in the series. That being said, we still have plenty of maps to come. It is a best of five, so we have guaranteed ourselves at least two more maps. So that will be a guaranteed... Blitz on Octane, a guaranteed domination on Freight, and then, if needed, a Blitz on Warhawk and a domination on Octane. Stay tuned. We've got more action coming up next. Don't go anywhere, because we have more action in the grand final of the Astro Circuit Season 5, midweek number 3. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, here to map number two in this grand final series. Blitz on Octane between TBA and Team Storm. Now, so far, unexpectedly, we saw the Team Storm side all defeated in a domination map up against TBA. Now, TBA, of course, formerly known as Team Immunity, a strong side themselves. But uh, Team Storm have had a dominant respawn run here in the last two weeks of the Astro Circuit. That being said, we're on Blitz now, and Immunity have already gone on a cap in. Uh, TBA. Yeah, TBA, they've uh, they've started off uh, started off fairly well here as they picked up the first cap and uh, Woods going well two and O to his name, make that three and O as he picks up another one. He's just going to sit on the defensive a little bit here. Fight as the player to push up. Looks like he's going to be able to rotate around. He'll be able to pick up that capture and that's two O already to immunity as Naked is yet again setting up for that relay. Yeah, you're going to be seeing him being able to get that one. And uh, no other players from Team Storm actually able to, to rotate back quick enough to be able to go and contest him. Now, you had Luke being able to get a kill, uh, sorry, get a cap in for uh, Team Storm here on this Blitz on Octane. 
But that's only going to bring the score up to 3-1. And you'll notice on the minimap, Swifty wanting to push on up. One player will be left to defend against. He's able to rotate around the truck quick enough that he dies, sliding into the cap point, which still counts, and he's able to make it into 3-2. Yeah, good play there, and uh, Luca. now he's going to try and push in as he goes for oh, that yeah. capture. We'll pick up the kill, and a little bit of FPS lag there on his screen. I'm not sure if he caught that on stream as well, but Luca picking up that kill there, waiting for another one to come in. He's just, uh, just checking everywhere, but he won't be able to pick up that final kill before he would have been able to slide into that capture point. Swifty, he's just sitting on defense here, trying to find someone, but he gets taken down. And another capture goes through for immunity. Fate there now on defense. Sees one, won't be able to pick up the second, I believe. That was Naked who's sitting there. And it looks like Naked's going to be able to get their fifth cap of the game through. And 5-3 in favor of Team TBA. Now, do TBA is pushing up. It did to force Team Storm to actually spawn over on, the, on that diner side. They try to push on forward to try and go for a quick cap in as well. It just really wasn't possible with the way the, the, the TBA side was set up. So you do see a couple more caps went in from both of these oh. sides. That's going to make a 6-3. to three. You saw Swifty from his perspective. He knew the player was there. He got shots on first. He then lost him, and that player just went on in for a cap. Yeah, I was actually watching Naked, and it was a beautiful just switch around. He just... Uh, Got shot at, he knew Swifty had rotated around waiting for Naked to jump out of that top uh, top mechanic. So he just rotated around bottom and uh, was able to pick up that cap uncontested. And uh, smart play there as Woods picks up yet another capture. Three to his name, three to Naked. And they are just going on a tear at the moment. Woods on a five streak, Naked on a six streak. And seven to three, Woods picks up yet another kill trying to push across this mid part of the map trying to push into fuels there is only an one player between him and the capture point if he can pick up this kill then he can go straight through and get yet another capture on the board for team tba he definitely could but we'll see if it will come into reality he's going on down oh, there was a player knife. there and so many times you see the players being in perfect positions to actually stop him but i mean uh, that's just that's just cod timing he's able to go the up player the there to react he actually went for the knife. You heard oh, the he? swing. And Oof. it was just... Oh, I don't know why you would go for a knife in that situation. You're close enough, and he's far enough away from the point that you should just be able to get easy shots into him as Woods picks up a knife there. Beautiful double kill from him. He's on an 11 streak going 14-3 and three with four caps to his name. Let's see Woods dropping a down fighter. On your screens, we'll swap over to Team Storm. There you got Luke over in Mechanic Fate trying to get a couple of shots in. He's got one contesting him straight away from the Humvees. As you're going to be seeing Swifty on top, Mech and Varenza being able to... No, well, no, he won't be able to pick off the kill. He missed the shots completely, but his teammate has his back to be able to take down that kill. He did a nice job to just back out of there. Now, 47 seconds remaining here in this half, and 8-3 to three being the scoreline. TBA have definitely set up nicely, but, I mean, this map still isn't, still isn't over. No, it's not over. It's a map where you can get a lot of caps very, very quickly if you can just uh, control the other team's spawns. And I think that's exactly what TBA are doing at the mo moment with uh, Woods 15 and 4 with 5 caps. He's obviously a fill-in for Team TBA, but he fills in for him so much that he's uh, just as good as any of the players in the lineup. And he's just showing it right now as he is uh, absolutely dominating Team Storm. And I mentioned before, the way that Storm have been playing during these midweeks, they've been dominating teams like Curse, and they just look untouchable when they're playing online, but Team TBA, they're putting them in, in their place, and now. Uh, really showing him what they can do. Yeah, I mean, you, you were actually saying to earlier that you thought that Team Storm were untouchable um, in this competition, and it, it really does show that they, they can be knocked down a peg or two, but that being said... It is still a, a great possibility. We've seen them come back in terms of... You know, generally, we haven't seen them being this far down in terms of uh, overall points difference, but we've seen them get, even in the league, get so many more caps in than they need to right now. So hopefully we'll be able to see that happen. Look on your screens up first. He sees one to his right. Oh, he doesn't. And he does get taken down, unfortunately, for him. Yeah, jumping on ball with Swifty. No, he's on defense a bit. We'll jump on ball with Fate. He's trying to push up. He will get taken down for Enzon now. He's pushing up. He knows that there's a player around here somewhere. He's trying to find that kill, but he's just going to let it go. He's going to run through, and that'll be a cap for him. No one between him and the capture point there. So the first cap on the board for Storm, but Team TBA, they've hit back with their own straight away. Fate trying to push in 
for a second one here as he's looking for another cap. He will be able to do that pretty easily. Luca trying to rotate around and just unfortunately for them, Storm, their sporting strip club and unable to go back to defend their capture point and that is allowing Team TBA to just run in these relays and it doesn't matter how many relays you get if the other team's doing the same you're still going to stay behind and Storm just struggling in the first minute of this second half. Yeah, I mean, you're going to be seeing a Swifty right here. Shots out, takes down one as a buzzer will also fall. Swifty just playing this defensive role as you noted earlier. So we'll swap over to Varenza, pushing on into Pawn right here, just looking up the windows and he's just seeing if, if a player would poke out from there. Unfortunately, there is no one there, but he sees one coming out of Storm. He will get taken down. We'll swap over to Fighter now who was the, uh, one of the players to assist there on his death. And, I mean, he's on a five streak at the moment, so he's definitely doing something right. So far, three of the players from, from TBA currently only have uh, eight deaths to, the, to their name, and they're, they're definitely having a, a lot more of these double-digit kills. Yeah, they are. As Fighter does go down, Naked goes down, and Will Woods follow. He will. They all go to nine deaths after that Caster's Curse doing a, a beautiful job of taking down three people at once. Usually we only uh, target one person, but Mike, you've just uh, been able to weave your magic. Three people killed. That's okay. I, I do I do what I do good. And uh, this uh, commentator's curse, I think, would, be, would have to be my best work. But, you know, that is okay because Swifty is about to get one. He will he get the second one? He needs to reload. He's going to push on back now. Two minutes, 40 still remaining in this map. And, of course, keeping in mind, 13 to 5 is going to be an 8 point score difference 70 seconds worth of consecutive cap time and of course with two and a half minutes remaining it's it's you know it's still a minute away from meeting to that boundary so they still have plenty of time to sort of try and get a couple of caps here and there but it, it just really doesn't seem like they're uh, they're pushing on for it yeah just unfortunately they just can't get anything going they got to get you got to get kills before you can start pushing up the map and storm they're just uh, unable to really do anything here as Renzo and picks up a kill but there's players just watching this route, and it looks like Luca. he's just going to run straight into a few bullets. He does. Varenzon gets taken down as well, and Naked, he just shut down that push too easily. 14 to 5, a 9-point difference, a minute 50 left to go. Make that 10-point difference, and it's almost that time where they can't get it, and there's still almost a minute and a half to go. Yeah, and I mean, 16 to 6, 90 seconds are remaining. Lockdog, do you have, do you even have words to just describe this right now? There's, there's, there's not many that can describe it. Team Storm that just 2 0 curse in pretty convincing fashion, really. I've come out and now they're going to be 2 0 down against uh, Team TBA. Obviously, formerly known as Immunity, they've been so strong for so long, but Storm, they, they took out ACL Sydney and they've been dominating the online comps in the last couple of weeks and I just just did not expect them to be this far behind in a blitz or in any respawn game type really because that is that is their strength it's it's the search and destroy that they're probably weakest at but there obviously no searches in this competition so the the respawns they're just uh, they're just getting dominated and they need to get back to what they were doing against the other teams to try and pull three maps in a row to try and uh, try and win this grand final you already have some of the storm players already having stopped move stop moving rather uh, in this game they already know it's over they don't really want to continue on in that one but that is going to be now a 2-0 lead to the team of TBA now they only need one more map to take this one out and he possibly could be in the next map coming up as we swap on host and swap back over to it. But a 2-0 lead this early into the series, I, I definitely expected it to go to go more for a round for a sort of map for map sort of basis. I definitely thought the domination would go in favor of, of Team Storm after the way they, they played against Curse. But uh, TBA definitely showing that they're, they're still that, you know, that num they're ready for that number one spot even though they... They uh they haven't really played in a couple of the online competitions since. Yeah, they uh they've just come out and showed that they are still the force to be reckoned with in uh, terms of uh, ANZ COD and look at that, twenty five and thirteen from Woods just dominating and storm. They need to uh they need to pick up their game because a two oh lead in a best of five it puts all the pressure on you. You've gotta win the next map 
or you will be uh, knocked out and taken down 3-0. And that's not what you want to see in a grand final. But we're going to go to a break before the next map. We'll be back soon with some more action coming up next in the grand final of the Season 5 midweek number 3 of this Astro Circuit.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the grand final of the Season fight 5 midweek number 3 of the Astro Circuit. Brought to you by CyberGamer, powered by Astro, and we've got Team TBA, for, formerly known as Immunity, up against Storm. I'm Lockdog, joined by Mikester, and we see Team TBA, they're already up, two maps to zero, and Storm, they've got to come back. They did dominate Team Curse on this map just before. Let's see if they can do it again. Yeah, and I mean, Freight, we've seen them, as you just mentioned, dominate on this domination. But that being said, their backs are up against the fence. It's 2-0 down that they face. They need to win the next couple of maps. They can't make a mistake. And, uh, yeah, it, 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 I think it, it, it all depends on, on that B flag. And, and they already have lost control to TBA. And they, they have, and now uh, we will see Varenzon, he'll go down, Luca trying to pick up a couple of kills. He'll pick up one, and he gets the capture, and that's going to be very important for Storm early on here as he tries to jump over to Red, trying to get some long shots on, won't be able to do so, he'll get taken down. And now Fate trying to do something, he'll go down as well. Swifty, he's just sitting across as he will get taken down yet again. And Team Storm, they are just getting shut down everywhere you look. And if you look at the scoreboard, you can see why. 6-2 and two for Fighter, 4-1 for Naked. Don't see that too often at the start of games. Usually he's the one jumping in for that objective. And 3-2 and two for Buzzo as well. So just complete dominance here for Team TBA in terms of kills. And it's up to Storm to try and uh, get a few kills in reply and get those captures down on that B flag or try and get that split push going and do something about this dominance that... Uh, Team TBA have shown in the first two maps. Yeah, and I mean, looking at Woods at the moment as he clears out one of the players over on the B side. He will get pinched out though, and he does get taken down. Once on Luke's left, it's the reaction to try and shoot him out, but he does need to reload it. He will get taken down shortly after. Varenzen now trying to secure and, and push him down to his B side. Now with Team Storm having control of this, they should be able to tie up the score in, in just a matter of seconds. And then you go 34 to 34, so already a quarter into it, and we're on the tie playing field. And yes, we are in a storm. They've been able to capture that B flag, importantly so. And now Swifty pushing into ready. We'll pick up one. There's going to be a couple more out the back as he does contest that one. Didn't need to, though, and he did get taken down. Now Varenzon trying to push around the back. He'll get taken down as well. But Fate, he's going in for this C flag. Going for the triple cap already here. Ah, uh, Storm. And it looks like it's almost going to pay off for him, but immune, uh, Team TBA, they're able to get that B flag in reply. I believe that's Woods who's able to get that neutralized. But Storm, they've been able to get two flags to zero and start building this lead. They're currently 12 points up after just a few seconds ago being even with uh, Team TBA. Yeah, now on board with Fate at the moment. B flag currently being lost to them but he's going to push on forward to try and contest that he takes out one he takes down the second one as well nicely done and uh, his teammates are there to try and secure that flag now they both do drop it they're able to get the flag in the end now all they need to do is hold the two players there left to secure that one naked rotating around as he tries to get tags on the stairs in the way there and he does fall that's going to be luke one of the players trying to hold that one out swifty's there as well as fighter takes down a nice double and forensic and fate yeah, Fighter doing a nice job there, picking up a couple of kills, make that three as he picks up Swifty, sees another one, would have called that out to his teammates, didn't shoot because he was just uh, just too quick for him really and just waiting here in white trying to pick up a couple of kills as they come around the corner but he won't be able to as he does drop so we'll jump on board with Woods, he's trying to get this A flag as he does get the neutralized, gets taken down, Buzzo trying to push down that way as well as he hits the stun in and he's going to contest around this corner, sees one, will pick up the kill, he is going to get contested again as he does see the player, picks up the kill, beautiful play there by Buzzo to be able to get this neutralized, he's very very close to it, there it is, he'll get taken down but the neutralized goes down, so Storm they're going to have to uh, pick up that flag yet again but fighters not going to allow him to do so and just some good play here by TBA to just keep putting pressure on this home flag of storm and making sure that they're not getting too far in the lead by having that B control. Yeah, and you notice Fighter, he actually rotated around. He got the neutralization over on the A flag, and then he just sort of sat back. He's like, you know what, we don't need to worry about it. I've just been following his perspective for that time, and there was no one on his sort of quarter or third of the map. And he's just going to go ahead and, and cap that flag. We're with 15 seconds ticking on down here. The, the score being 85 points to 60, 15-point lead to team uh, to the team of Storm. This is exactly how yeah, that's right. They've uh, they've played this map really, really well. Every single time I've seen them play, 
it's probably one of our strongest maps and uh, we, we see an example of that right there with a 27 point lead going in to the half time and if they can just get B control at any point in the next game they're so good at holding that down that it could almost guarantee them the map because uh, when they when Team Storm get control of B you just can't contest it and they're, they're so good at being able to delegate roles of players to go back and deal with home flags and keep at least two players watching B at all times that uh, it's, it's very difficult to try and get that B control back off them. Yeah, and I mean, with Swifty here on your screens picking off a nice double kill to open up this half. Nicely done there and just trying to just open up this this B area control there for them. But TBA, of course, off the respawn, have just come back to try and get this in control. Luke takes down one, though, as Naked takes him down. Swifty turns around the corner to his death. Luke on your screens. We'll open up the door from a furnace to take down one. One's going to be in mid lane as well. We will pick off that kill and he dodges an eight at the same time as he pushes on down over to his B flag. A couple of players trying to contest him. They will take him down in the end. Let's jump board with TBA. You have Naked right here on your screen. Takes down one. Looks to the left. Takes down another to get that double kill. That B flag still neutralized. Yeah, Luke, he's going to try and push in and defend this B flag as he does pick up one. There's a second one there somewhere. He will get taken down and the team of TBA as I said before, it's very hard to stop uh, to break that control of B when Storm have it. But they've done just that. They've been able to take control of the B flag. They've also got control of A. And they're forcing Storm to go for that C flag. But not allowing them to as they get the nades across to it. As we do see a few players from the team of TBA just watching this uh, C flag and doing a good job of it. But Swifty will be able to pick up this capture and uh, try and push out towards this B flag. Yeah, I was actually on board with Buzzin there because I thought it was going to make something happen over on the uh, the original A flag there, but unfortunately couldn't uh, manage to to pick off the double kill. But uh, on board with Swifty right here as he takes down two nice kills on Naked and Buzzin over on B at the moment gets taken down. But uh, this map, it just it, it really doesn't seem like T TBA really have that control and that, that performance by Storm. Normally, you know, normally we see them in, in more control of it, but c comparing the, the previous two maps and, and now, they've definitely made a big big step up here in, uh, in in the series, and they just need to hold it out for another two minutes forty seven. Yeah, well, they're 15 points ahead, and they're playing well. Swifty trying to push up this right side. They've only got control of C, but if they can get a neutralize on one of these flags, and they're going to put themselves in a good spot to just hold this lead that they have. They want to make sure that the immunity squad aren't, or the TBA squad, sorry, are not getting back into this one too quickly. As we see Luca, he's trying to find a couple of kills. He does see one in mid, or he just looked away as he gets taken down as Renzon trying to push in as well. And Team TBA, they've played it well. They've been able to control B flag, and it looks like they're going to get back into this one pretty quickly as there is only eight points of difference. And we'll jump on board with him now. Fighter doing the work on this B flag. He's 27 and 15 with four caps. Definitely the standout player so far on this map. Fighter there picking off one. You're going to be seeing a couple of players with Aura Mode trying to close on down to this B side. Woods takes down Luke. One minute 50. The score has closed back up. Three points the difference. This could be the final moment of this series and this competition in a moment. You're going to be seeing Fighter take down one. Woods takes down another. 96 seconds to tick on down. And TBA are about to type this game. 126 all now. And the 90 second mark is ticking on down with TBA controlling this game, controlling this map at the flags. They have taken the lead. And now it's up to them. It's up to Team Storm to try and take something happen. But Fighter oh, gets the double kill. looking for the 30. Oh, gets the third fighter. as well. And he'll push on down off the sports Team Storm. They have enough time to make something happen. But Fighter, he just sneaks on past them. And he's trying to make something happen here on a C. He's run out of ammo, but it doesn't even matter because he's just being the distraction. And he's still able oh, to pick off the kill. Oh, if he gets this knife. He's still able to pick off oh. the kill. And I thought he was able to just walk away after that as well. But it wasn't meant to be. And... I mean, they're in, they're in a perfect position here, TBA, to just hold this one out. But we'll swap over to Team Storm, and we'll see if they can come back and just narrowly take out this win. Well, Luke's currently sitting on B. He tried to get it. There's a four down there. Oof. And Team TBA, they've picked up that four down. And with it, very, very likely that they've taken the win because a triple cap is needed from Storm. It doesn't look like it's going to happen because another two down goes down for Enzon trying to t capture this A flag. But it's just not going to be enough. 
and Team TBA, they have really come out and shown what they can do. As as always, they always turn up in these grand finals when they need to as uh, Naked goes down. And Fighter, 35 and 18, he's always a standout player for this team. And, uh, well, he's showing it here again as uh, Buzzo with a few T-backs there on Storm. But Storm, they've uh, a couple of them are left and they, they didn't really perform as well as they could have. There we go, 156 to 147 is a final score, a nine-point difference. But 3-0 to Team TBA here in the Astro Circuit Grand Final and uh, just dominance in uh, in the Grand Final here. That definitely was, and, uh, and it's it's something that you know we, we touched on earlier, but it's something that we didn't expect considering that it was respawn only. They've been playing really well throughout the night and just you know, a 3-0 just... Really wasn't expected, especially you know at that half time point. I was noting that that you know they came out strong. This is exactly what they need to do. I think I might have jinxed them, but uh, you know overall, you know, it was definitely a big effort to to TBA to to come to come into this series and take out the win. Um, looking at the overall stats here through throughout the uh, throughout the competition, they took out their first match. You know it was a two nil, then another two nil. Another 2 deal. then they dropped a map against Mega and then they cleaned this one out 3 nil. so they only dropped one map throughout the entire competition. And uh, But you know, you, you see some of them like that, that That map just then was definitely extremely close. You still got to give credit to, t uh, to Team Storm. Yeah, Team Storm, they played extremely well, they took out Curse 2-0, not many teams can uh, do that too often and uh, just shutting them down, but Team TBA as strong as ever really, they uh, just picked up where they uh, where they left off against uh, all the other teams in the competition, they took out Mega 2-1. That was the only map they lost, and uh, they uh, they came out and just dominated Team Storm. Storm played well, but Team TBA just uh, just too good. That is going to be the end of this midweek number three here from Cyber Gamer, powered by Astro. Of course, registration for midweek number four will go live tomorrow, as well as a discussion thread regarding you know, S&D in general, with it still being broken due to the bomb glitch and, and where to go from the future. Of course, we also have at 6.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time tomorrow, we have the teams of Curse and Mega duking it out there, and you can find that live here at that time, twitch.tv forward slash cgxboxeu, but also at 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, the ACL Call of Duty Ghost League will be resuming for day two of round number one, and you can check that on mlg.tv forward slash ACL at 7 p.m. You can be sure to follow them on Twitter as well at ACL Pro, and of course, remember to follow all of Cybergamer Xbox's social media outlets. You've got our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash cybergamer.com.au, our Twitch page, which is this page Page right here, bottom left, there is a follow button, and of course our Twitter at CGXbox are you as well. Give my co-caster a follow here, who joined me straight after work at Lockdog18, and it was definitely a pleasure casting you with you once again. Thank you for coming on board here, but of course that is the end of our broadcast here tonight. Hope you all enjoyed it. I'm Mike, the joined by Lockdog, and until next time, we'll catch you later.